I'll put it in sports mode. This just gets better. Hi guys, I'm Dave for those of you that do not know me and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of what's going down in the workshop. Today is mainly going to be about brakes, why you need the brakes and why we fit the brakes. So as many of you know, a lot of us fit big engines, so BMW engines, LS3 engines, LT1s, LT4s, the, work, like the list goes on, right? But we're all about safety, so roll cages, brake upgrades, you name it. So if you want to come inside and we'll show you what we're doing. So this car was bought to us from SMC, good friend of mine, Andrew Dickens. They put an LS3 in this car and he said, Dave, he said, it won't stop. I said, that's quite funny that, after you fitted 500 horsepower. So it's come to us for these brakes. This is our 18 inch extreme kit. And as you can see, this is the rears and these, and it's hard guys, you see on Instagram, to put these calipers into perspective. So I don't know if I can put it into perspective, but that is the size of the front. And these are going on here. Just look at the size of those. If most of you know how big a Milwaukee gun is, that's how big they are. We like fitting these brakes because, for one, they give you confidence when you're driving these vehicles. They give you control over the vehicle so you can stop faster. And these Frodo brake pads, <laughs> these are the 2500s, and these really grab when you get them hot. that busy we've had to um call in this this um small man so he's got a double xl now here you go Mike. cheers pal thank you <laughs> welcome to the team <laughs> so it fits now <laughs> yeah <laughs> Obviously, the brakes are all on. You've just bled the, the brakes as well, yeah? We've bled them, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's the next step then? Obviously, getting the wheels on. Uh, we're going to put the wheels on, tighten the wheels, because if you forget that, your wheel's going to come off, obviously. And then we're, we're going to go, go road test, test it. Compared to the brakes that we've taken off this car, what would you. Yeah, they will improve. Is? They'll dissipate heat better. Um, it'll stop basically like a Peugeot. So, Mike, once this is handed back to the customer, what would you be saying to them? in terms of advice with a new set of brakes? Don't expect them to stop on a dime when they're cold. Make sure you warm up to get them going and then, then you can fully brake on them then. You know, it'll certainly stop it. With all this going power, you've got some stopping power to go with it now.
sure I've grown as not stale in the background. Are you actually doing work? You're not thefting. Hey? You're actually doing work, you're not thefting, are you? Oh, just a bit of this, a bit of that, you know. Got me hair cut for Christmas. I did notice last week. <laughs> it's a good mate. Right, this week uh, we're finishing off Paul's Orange 90. Um, nearly done with this truck now. Um, we've got the tank done, we've got it mounted. Um, we've also got his anti-roll bar done now. So that's been relocated lower down. Uh, we've got his tow bar brackets that come down and around the tank. Uh, and then, yeah, like previous episodes, we've done the exhaust. Uh, later on today, I'll be finishing off the air con system, neatening that up. Um, and yeah, get it to a point where Paul can have it back and finish it himself and put the body on and carry on with his project, really. So Project Goliath is nearing completion. Darren and Ed have been super busy on this this last week, and we're hoping today to get it out for some test driving. So for those of you that want to know what 430 horsepower LS3 six-speed automatic feels like, we'll do some driving videos so you can hear it, feel it, and go from there, really. And if you're serious and you want one of these builds, come and see me. And I'm sure that Stephen from um, Northern Ireland will more than happily sing from the rooftops when he gets this truck back. I'd love to give you a hand, Louie, but well, yeah. that's not my job. I'm here to film it. So a lovely feature that I love what we've done with this car is, check this out. 
So instead of having a big chunky screen, look how neat that is. I think that is a great addition. So this is Project Goliath and we've done six miles to date in Goliath. This is a 430 horsepower LS3 sporting a six speed automatic gearbox and it's smooth. Smooth as anything and what I love about this build is how quiet it is in here, how you know you could have a little discussion and whisper to each other in here. And that's what we wanted. We wanted these cars so when you put your foot down listen to that you back off you can cruise this car's in sixth gear doing 60 miles an hour doing two and a bit thousand rpm that to me is perfect we've got we've got the dakota dash reading everything that's important down from oil temp water temp rpm speed in the center you can have optional digital layouts and inputs and outputs you can play around with a middle button here and have a trip. You can have 13 volts, your fuel's in litres, 87 Celsius, your water temp, you can have your miles per hour, and most importantly, the fuel gauge. You'll see that quite regular only in an LS3. And battery voltage. So it gives you everything that you need and what more than this stock retrimmed leather wheel, you can see everything which we're not usually used to in the Defenders, normally using the no more litre wheels that we usually use. So, I'm hoping Stephen, the owner in Ireland, is going to love this machine when he gets it back. And we've enjoyed building it. We had a lot of niggles along the way with this build. With we had a damaged main bulkhead harness that we had to change out. So you'll, you'll remember that from some previous episodes. But you know what? It's a learning curve for the guys in Ireland. You've got to be super careful with these looms when you're pulling the bodies off. Treat them with pure delicacy and, and look after them more than anything. So to give you a little lowdown about where this car is from and who we're building it for is this car was built by BLRC. They're in Ireland, lots of people know them. Um, Stephen touched base with me. Stephen's the owner, so it's quite hard. We've got two Stevens here. So Stephen that is the main man at BLRC, he contacted me and said, Dave, I've got this really tasty build coming up. Are you interested? I said, definitely interested. I said, we've not got a V8 in Ireland, so I definitely want to get one there. So Stephen, the owner, got in touch, gave me his spec list, which made my head fall off. Um, but we do love a challenge, as you know. So this car, I'll start at the bottom. So it's got Alcon brakes. It's got drive right air suspension. So it's all on airbags. Lovely, comfortable ride. It's got a 430 horsepower LS3. Matched to a six-speed auto. Matched to a stage two Winchester gears. It's also got Winchester gear diffs. Ashcroft drive shafts, CV joints, you name it, it's got it. This car was basically, I don't want to say a blank check build, but it's pretty much there. It's got our three inch stainless steel system, front to back, catalyst converters, you name it, it's all there. It's ULES compliant. And on the back, it goes into quad tips. Tom made a beautiful job of making those quad tips. And just listen to this. I'll tell you what I will do, I'll put it in sports mode because this just gets better. So in sport mode guys, you can shift up and shift down. Lovely mod that we've made for these cars. Or you can just rely on the manual kick down, so when you push the pedal down to a certain increment, it will kick down. I love playing about with gadgets guys and this tap shift tap shift button is just perfect. We can give you paddles. I think paddles in a Defender are a nuisance because just the nature of the beast, you know, the big wheel, you're swinging it around, you could knock the paddle, you could drop down a gear, it could be embarrassing, it might not be, but I'm not fond of it. I want these cars to be cruisers and I want people to enjoy them. And most of all, this build has been you know, it was great from start to finish. Stephen decided to go with our big 150 litre monstrous fuel tank. 
making that and making that work in this car was that was no easy feat so we had to make brackets around it custom brackets to carry it custom anti-roll bar dropper plates but we've nailed it we've got it filled, sorted we've got it all on a CAD drawing and if you want one guys get in touch so we do have them available now made to order sorry guys it's just addictive I have to shift down with this thing I can't go giving it full beans yet because we're still in the running in phase we don't want to go revving the car past three and three and a half thousand rpm we're going to give this big v8 chance to run in and get all the bearings where they want to be what i will say is if you want one of these ls3 swaps guys the price is now forty thousand plus vat so the ls3s are drying up there's not many available if you would like the lt1 guys we charge 45 plus to that that comes with the eight speed this is the six speed which i believe is more than ample for these cars no one sits at 100 miles an hour in these car guys they're not the safest thing in the world so let's stick to 70 and within the speed limits to be safe like look now i'm sitting just under 50 miles an hour and the car's doing 1500 rpm that to me is perfect so there you have it guys thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like guys because we've noticed a lot of you have been lacking on that aspect we've seen everyone's watching but not many are subscribing so please do that guys it would help us a great deal to help us grow this channel thanks again Bye bye. Bonus material. Yeah. I know it's a Civic Type R, two cars ahead of us. Drag race, which of these do you reckon would pull out in front? Uh, probably the Civic Type R because of the, the weight ratio, but yeah. if I built something to that power to weight, it'd be a Ragtop 90. And it would wipe the floor with it because I'd make sure there's a supercharger or a turbocharger.